Hi everybody, and welcome to my DJI Mini 3 Range Test video. So I want to make a disclaimer about this particular flight. Uh, I live in upstate New York, uh, nearby one of the border crossings with Canada. So, because the FAA got, you know, uh, rules when it comes to flying beyond line of sight, uh, I decided to do this flight in Canada, not that far away from where I live. So. I went to Google Earth and I found, um, you know, this uh, power line trench, which I found that it was not that far from home. It was, you know, perfect to this particular flight. And the best part is that I will be doing this flight in a place where the FAA got no jurisdiction. Okay, that's one thing that I want to mention. The other thing is that. I did pre-trip my drone, make sure that everything was in good working order, so that way I won't get any issues when the drone is fly, flying far away. And one more thing that I did is to check on my phone um, the Before You Fly app, just to make sure that I was flying an area where it would be restricted. And I also checked my uh, UAV forecast app just to make sure the day was appropriate to do this particular flight. Um, when the weather on this day was 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the wind was two miles per hour. The wind gust was five miles per hour. And the possibilities of raining on this day was zero. So it was a perfect day for me to do this flight. Now let's talk about the flight itself. Um, one thing that you guys are gonna notice is that once I pass this uh, rivers um, over here, um, you'll notice that my altitude is gonna remain the same, which is pretty much you know shy of uh, 100 feet, uh, 400 feet. But the ground is gonna start getting closer and closer to the drone, and the reason for that is because this is like a shallow uh, uphill slope and because of that reason there's going to be a point where I had to increase the altitude so that way I can keep my drone uh, and my remote connected because the uh, power line towers they get to a point where they start you know making you know obstructing the signal a little bit and as I increase the altitude the signal improve. Now, you guys need to understand that if you're flying um, over an obstacle, you know, like a hill, a building, something like that, you are allowed to fly all the way to no beyond 400 feet from from the ground or over the obstacle where you are flying. So, even if the you're gonna start seeing the altitude, you know increasing past you know 400 feet the actual altitude uh, altitude that i'm gonna have underneath you know the ground underneath the drone is gonna be uh probably no more than 70 to 90 meters or probably like 200 and a change you know feet off the ground okay now another thing that i want to talk about is you know the the, the range that i was aiming for on this day was, you know, going to um, going to do a 10 kilometer flight, but because of this hill over here, you can see that once uh, once you pass the top of the hill, you see the ground started going, you know, lower again. And if I continue, I will have to lower the altitude of the drone to stay uh, on a legal you know, altitude off the ground, but the hill itself would have uh, blocked you know, the signal. So I decided to you know, just leave it at you know, the seven plus kilometers that I did and turn around just like I'm doing right now, okay? Now the reason I decided to make this video is because um, one thing that I noticed with my drone when I first bought it is that you know the the range of this remote was awful i mean i had the mini 2 with the rc and one remote and that drone was awesome you know how far you could go with it and how clear the signal would be and everything even if that drone was you know working on oculus 2 
I mean, it was amazing, you know, how great that drone was when it comes to do, you know, uh, long range uh, flights. And this drone with this uh, uh, DJI RC remote, it was awful. And not only my drone, but I saw many videos on YouTube of other people around the world having the same issues, you know. They could they couldn't go past beyond a mile or, or two kilometers, you know. They were when they were doing that the the return to home was kicking in. But you know, luckily, you know, DJI um, they uh, they provided you know uh, firmware updates uh, for the drone at the remote, which uh, corrected you know the issues with the range, and now you can see that you can do you know you know long distance flights uh, with this particular drone. So the remote truly got the capabilities to take you further. Now, as you can see, you know as I'm returning you know back to where I took off. Uh, you saw that I decreased the altitude uh, from 200 meters back to 120. So that way, uh, because I'm getting into the area where the ground is lower and and I can stay, um, you know, flying at the legal altitude, altitude that's supposed to be flying. And you can see the signal is pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's great and you can see that I still got plenty of battery um, um, uh, left, you know, to do the flight. There were some occasions that I felt like desperate and because the drones was taking so long to come back that I hit the, the sport mode. But every time I was hitting the sport, mo the sport mode, the like you see right now, um, the battery was draining you know so fast that sometimes it was kicking up the return to home because the the computer on inside the drone was estimating that because of that drainage or you know that fast drainage of battery was so extreme that i wouldn't be able to have enough juice in the battery to you know get back so that's why i went back to uh normal mode now I'm just like a little bit over two kilometers and you can see now I got solid, you know, bars on the drone and I'm just on final approach to get and land this and celebrate that I did the longest flight that I ever done with a drone in my life. So that was a, you know, cool experience to see that the drone now is really capable to do this particular you know, long range flights, okay? So, thanks for uh, watching this video. So please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and press the bell, okay? Thank you, and have a good one, bye.